sometimes people will think that their data has been compromised. And that's quite a tricky thing to figure out. It's not like coming home and seeing that someone's forced the door open or seeing your car window smashed or finding that someone's picked your pocket. It's hard for most people to know whether they've been compromised or not. But there's that niggling feeling in the back of their head. I think I've been hacked. I got a bad feeling. If that's you, first step, visit haveibeenporn.com. Enter your email address and see if it shows up in any known breaches. If it is, change the passwords for those sites and any other sites that may have used that same password. Now that's all well and good after the fact, but what can you do in advance? If you use Gmail, you can use a plus service on the end of your email address. Say your email address is tom.langford at gmail.com. When you sign up to Oswald Boateng, use your email address as tom.langford plus Oswald at gmail.com. That way if that email address starts getting spammed, you know Oswald Boateng has either been breached or they've sold your data off. Use an ad blocker when you're online. Not only will it stop those pesky ads from following you around everywhere, but it can also help prevent malicious code designed to steal your data. More software? Try a host-based firewall. It will track all the connections that all of your software and apps are making outside. You can review all of these connections and block any ones that you don't want. Honey tokens are great for catching criminals with their hands in the virtual cookie jar. For for example, canary tokens are free. Go to the website and generate the kind of token you want. Give the file a tempting name. Save it on the network where other people shouldn't go. Then wait to be alerted when someone opens it up. Detecting attacks that occur against large enterprises, small businesses, or even individuals isn't the easiest of things. But by putting in place a few effective controls, you can really minimize that ambiguity. You don't want to wait months or years before you found out that you were actually hacked. Work proactively so you can change the discussion from, I think I've been hacked, to someone's definitely having a go at hacking me.